Hi, uh, this is the last vid for the third lesson of equations and inequalities. Uh, it's quite a quick one to be fair, so the other ones have been quite quick as well, so that's quite nice. So it says, <clears throat> find the range of values for that equation to have real roots. So real roots is a mixture of two real roots or one real root. So I'm looking where b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to zero. So I added that to your page a couple of pages ago <clears throat> to show the greater than or equal to. Right, now let's be careful. A is 2, B is K, C is 3K minus 10. So I've got A, I've got B, I've got C. So be careful with that. Right, so I'm looking for K squared minus 4 times 2 times 3K minus 10. is greater than or equal to 0. I'm looking at it and I can already see it's going to be a quadratic. So I've got k squared, I've got minus 4 times 2 times 3k, which is going to be minus 24k. <clears throat> I've got minus 4 times 2 times minus 10, so that's going to be plus 80. <clears throat> I've got a right frog in my throat, sorry. Should have really brought some water down on me. If I do 1, minus 2480 in poly, it gets me 4 and 20. Now, I'm doing a quadratic inequality, so I need to graph it, and I'm looking where it's above the x-axis. So if I draw a picture, it's at 4 and 20. There. I'm looking where it's above the x-axis. So I've got k is less than or equal to 4, or k is greater than or equal to 20. I just need to add the k belongs to the real numbers, such that. With some wonky brackets there. Perfect. That's what we want. Now there's one for you to have a go at. A bit more tricky this one. So you've got a is 1, b is k plus 5. C is k squared plus 7. And it's got no real roots, so I'm looking for b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So I'll let you give that all. I'll reveal it now. You can pause it, have a go, and then check it. Come on. There. So that's my poly. Tell you it's n shaped because of the minus. Yeah. Right, example two. Oh, we're on three minutes. Awesome, that, isn't it? So a length of a rectangle, uh, rectangular children's playground is ten meters more than its width, and we'll have the width as x. The perimeter has to be greater than 64. So the perimeter has to be greater than 64. So that would just mean then that x plus x plus 10 doubled has to be greater than 64. So what have we got? So we've got 4x plus 20 is greater than 64. 4x is greater than 44 x is greater than 11 meters. So I know x is greater than 11 meters, so of the area. But then it says, uh, sorry, the perimeter. It says the perimeter has to be, so the area has to be less than 299. So x lots of x plus 10 has to be less than 299. So I've done the perimeter, now I'm doing the area. So we've got x squared plus 10x is less than 299 x squared plus 10x minus 299 is less than 0. I've got another quadratic inequality here. So if I put in poly, 1, 10, minus 299, what does that give us? 
resolves axis minus 23 or axis 13. So do a little sketch. So I've got minus 23 and 13. That same below. x-axis. So this is telling me it's between minus 23 less than x less than 13. But it's a length isn't it? So I know that it needs to be positive. So I need a positive length. So x has to be greater than 0. Is it technically greater than or equal to 0? Because if that's that's, yeah, I guess that's be great. Isn't it? So then that cuts my, my minus 23 is less than x is less than 13. So that becomes 0 is less than x is less than 13. Um, so that's for the area. So this is the area. So I've got something that says the area is 0 is less than x is less than 13. But my perimeter... is x is greater than 11. So what I need to look at now is the overlap. So it works for both. So the overlap is 11 is less than x is less than 13. Does that make sense? So the area I can use between 0 and 13, but the perimeter has to be bigger than 11. So overall, the overlap is between 11 and 13. Would be a really technical x belongs to the reals. There. Well, don't, must have loads of questions to practice on these because I don't know. Right, see you later. Bye bye.